All right, let's collectively leave our judgment at the door here because we're all guilty of stinky breaths from time to time. Whether the cause is your diet, good old morning time, or overall dental hygiene, bad breath is just something that happens and more often than you would like. So let's start with the basics. See your dentist at least twice a year, depending on your oral condition. For cleanings, and while you're there, don't hesitate to bring up your concerns if you tried everything and your bad breath still isn't going away. Brush and floss every single day. Brushing your teeth helps nix the plaque and bacteria on the front, back, and the chewing surface. But flossing dislodges anything your toothbrush can't get to between the teeth. If you don't floss, here's what happens. The minerals in saliva, like calcium and phosphate, can cause the plaque to harden between the teeth, aka tartar. Tartar is full of bacteria. The bacteria colonies can multiply and burrow deeper into the gums. Over time, the tissue around the bone gets irritated, causing inflammation. Your gums start to break down, resulting in bleeding gums when you brush your teeth. If it progresses, the space between your gums and teeth grows. Basically, anaerobic bacteria are the culprits behind gum disease and bad breath. So, brush and floss or bad breath will be the least of your concerns. One main source of bad breath is a type of oxygen-hating bacteria in your mouth called anaerobic bacteria. Since they don't like fresh air, they nestle deep inside your mouth surfaces causing inflammation and bleeding of the gums, which in turn creates sticky sulfuric byproduct. For this, it would be best to use a tongue scraper to remove the bacteria burrowing in the fuzzy filaments of your tongue or try using a clean spoon instead. Since anaerobic bacteria hate oxygen, try gargling with an oxygenated mouthwash to kill them fast, even in hard to reach places like your tonsils. Yes, anaerobic bacteria tend to accumulate in the contours of your tonsils, creating super pungent tonsil stones, a buildup of bacteria and debris in your tonsils. For this, try gargling in the back of your throat with salt water to dislodge the stones or see at your ENT doctor to remove them. Drink more water. Dehydration reduces your saliva production, which is a problem because your saliva has antibacterial and antifungal properties that keep your mouth healthy and your breath smelling good. On a basic level, your saliva also helps break down your food wash it away, and lubricate your teeth to prevent food from being stuck. If the food is decomposing in your mouth because it was not broken down or washed out, bacteria can flourish. The more food you leave behind, the more feasting for the bacteria. While we're on the topic of dehydration, get rid of all your alcohol-based rinses because ironically enough, your mouthwash could be your problem. Alcohol dries out your mouth, which leads to more bacteria growth. You can create your own by mixing two tablespoons of baking soda with a cup of warm water and a few drops of peppermint essential oil. Baking soda is a natural antibacterial and peppermint can help freshen your breath in a pinch if you run out of mouthwash. Now on to what to eat to stay fresh. If you're already out on the town, order a drink with mint leaves or casually ask your server for a side of parsley. The mint helps freshen your breath and the parsley contains chlorophyll, which fights against the sulfur compounds in your mouth. 
Eat fermented food like kimchi to increase the good bacteria in your gut, the large and small intestine, and the stomach. In addition, when the good bacteria thrive, there's less room for the bad bacteria, which gives off a not so pleasant smell that travels up from the digestive tract into the mouth. The hard texture of apples, celery, carrots, etc. can remove food caught between your teeth and rub away the bacteria that's clinging to them. Think of crunchy foods as nature's toothbrushes. Finally, chew sugar-free gum containing xylitol. Gum contributes to better breath for a few reasons. First, the act of chewing stimulates the flow of saliva, which, remember, helps flush away bacteria. Second, it helps pick up food that has been left behind. And third, xylitol, a sweetener, is an antibacterial. Try gums with xylitol. Or if you're not a gum fan, try mints with xylitol. Did you like our fresh breath tips? Did we miss any? Let us know your thoughts.